And now to that extreme heat and how it's impacting kids heading back to school, especially those who ride the bus. The brutal heat and federal mask mandate is sparking debate among parents, especially for families with children in the Fort Zoo Malt School District. Five on your side's Tracy Hinton spoke with their superintendent and a St. Louis doctor about masking up in this oppressive heat, Tracy. Um, Michelle, parents are upset because they say a bus driver on one of these Fort Zumwalt buses was fired because she said the kids could take off their masks on these very hot days. Now, I did ask Superintendent Dubray about that, and I'll have his answer here in a few moments. But first, let's talk about how hot cars, vehicles, school buses, they're basically metal heat you know, they attract the heat in this type of weather. I clock temperatures in my backseat of my car today with the windows down, actually, you know, get a little bit of a breeze in there, no air conditioning. I clock temperatures back there at about 90 to 100 degrees. So yes, it gets warm and then you add a mask to that and it's just downright uncomfortable. Particularly the little guys when they get off the bus, um, you know, they're hot and parents react to that. Uh, but, you know, we got to get them home. Even though they might be stuffy, masks are a must on the bus. They are required to wear masks according to the federal mandate, as are our bus drivers. Superintendent Dubray says kids can take breaks, though. What I've always said is use some common sense. If kids need to pull their mask down to get a breath or to take a little bit of a mask break, they can do that, but the majority of the time they're on the bus, they're supposed to have their masks on. I asked Superintendent Debray about a post circulating on social media about a bus driver who said she was fired for allowing kids to not wear masks on the hot buses. He said this. She was not fired, she resigned. Most Fort Zumwalt buses are not air conditioned, so there is a greater risk of heat exhaustion from wearing a mask on one. There really is no evidence to show the kids have uh, a problem with heat exhaustion or they're more likely to get it when they wear a mask. Um, the mask covers a very small part of a child's uh, face and body. They have plenty of other parts of their body in, uh, in which to radiate heat. In his time as a Missouri pediatrician, Dr. Haller says heat exhaustion cases are usually related to outdoor sports. Well, I really have not seen heat exhaustion coming from kids who are in a hot classroom or on a hot bus. Uh, it really is pretty much those kids who are outside in the summer doing, you know, football training and things like that. I was curious, so I reached out to two school districts, one in the Phoenix, Arizona area, one in the Austin, Texas area, about what their school buses are, are like in the hot temperatures. They say they are all air conditioned. They really don't have an issue with the heat. When I talked to Superintendent Dubray about this, he thought that upgrading the buses wouldn't be a financially wise idea for Missouri's pretty short-lived heat waves. In uh, O'Fallon, I'm Tracy Henson, 5 on your side.